Hello y'all and welcome to another review, Transform Review. Today we're going to be talking about some more G2 Transformers. These come out in 1993. These were kind of known as color changing Transformers. These parts right here or a different color because they actually changed at one time when water got on them and they just faded over the years and times since 1993 so that's how come they look duller than the rest of the vehicle they actually changed when water got on them when they were in battle all this right here would change to a different color and this right here would too and this right here would too it was a gimmick at the time that worked pretty good for that time and it was what it was and these are all g2s and you'll see the different signs on them i have this two decepticons this one and this one or Decepticons this one right here is an Autobot I do have a couple more but right now this is what I had that I can find that was quickly you know for me to take a look at and uh, get a review done on them. so without further ado we're going to get on to the reviews of these G2 transformer water changing colors Transformers, Decepticons, and Autobots. Okay. We're going to put him aside. We're going to put him aside. And we're going to be taking a look at this one first. There are more accessories, but I do not have them because they've actually either gone up missing or they broke because they were just made out of plastic that you put water in and then they shoot plastic at this area to create a battle damage kind of color and it would fade but over time it already faded so there's no need doing that <clears throat> okay now this Autobot right here believe it or not his Autobot's name is GoBots I don't know where they got the name from, but that's what it is. His name is GoBots. That just seems a little weird to me because I remember both franchises. One was GoBots, one was Transformers. But anyway, in 1993, they decided to call this one GoBots. And there is the G2 Autobot symbol right there. For that time okay now we're going to get on to a little bit of his bio and about him this figure was available in 1993 well actually all three figures were available in 1993 this Autobot like I said before is his name is GoBots he transforms into a I cannot say this word. <laughs> I still cannot say this word. Something. Something 405T16. Rally car. So anyway. Uh, his saying is. If we don't finish the job. And flatten them. We don't need to be in the fight at all. He is a vital cog. In the vast Autobot battle. And can endure the most extreme conditions while fighting without fear. So that's a little bit of his background. There's more there, but that's just a little quick summary of it. Okay. Now to get on to his transformation. Let's see here. Raise it up some. I'm gonna take his legs. And flip them up. 
like so. Then you're going to take his arms and you're going to split them. Like so. Then you're actually going to come back here, take his head, you're going to rotate. all this around and over time it has gotten a little more jagged let me see here oh I had this going on earlier there we go you take his fins take these shoulder pads and you fold them up and then you take his cab and you rotate it. And you come back up, flip up the head, fix down his shoulder pads. And I'm going to move out the camera just a little. That's still a little bit too close. Okay. Okay, well there you have Autobot GoBot. And once again, we can see where they're trying for the light piping. Where this was where they started experimenting a lot with light piping back in 1993. And there's the little spot on his head right there and that is Autobot GoBot now as far as articulation he doesn't have a whole lot compared to today's standards but it was unique at our time back then he has an arm go down and it can bend up at the 90 degrees well not 90 degrees right there bend straight parallel with his arm no head articulation whatsoever the arms can move kinda in and out but that's about as all you're going to get as far as movement of articulation this one moves a little bit more freer the leg can bend but that's due to transformation so if you wanted to I guess you can get him in a, maybe a running pose maybe and that's about it for articulation for Autobot GoBot so we're just going to put them off to the side and we're going to be taking a look at the next one. The next one is Jetstorm. Jetstorm. Once again, he was supposed to have accessories right here on his back. And then it also come across down here. And it hooked on back here and it come up right here as far as lights and stuff like that but like I said I don't have it so all we have is the G2 transformer so anyway without further ado here is Jetstorm now Jetstorm he transforms into a Baja style doom buggy now his saying is revenge is a dish best served on a little slip of paper this is why I'm saying this because his background is a little bit different only tolerated because he is useful jet storm is unevolved I'm sorry let me start over only tolerated because 
his useful useful jet storm is unloved by all as a mission coordinator it's his job to tell Decepticons what to do and he relishes in the task if another Decepticon gets lippy with him a soldier may soon find himself relocated to a detachment group sent to like the planet goo so he's a bit of a bully he loves giving out orders but as far as him actually fighting no not really but everybody really don't like him because he has the power and control that if you get snippy with him he can detach you from your group and move you to another planet that you won't like so we're going to get on to G2 Jetstorm another color changer that's why this is all faded now it was a different color but over time since 1993 this is what we have today and now okay to get off to him to transform him we are going to pull his back underneath out and around then you pull up the feet like so to make his feet then you're going to lift up his arms fold them down and out like so then you're going to put this tab in that hole like so then you're going to turn him around and get his arms out to where they're in front of him and there you have And there you have Jetstorm. And he's got the Decepticon second generation label on there. On his chest. Right there. And once again you can see the light piping coming through. Right there. So that is pretty much Jetstorm and is from his Baja mode to his robot Decepticon mode. We're going to put him off in the background. Now we're getting on with this little guy right here. And this little guy had he had weapons right here that come up and there was two on each side as like a a motor, a, a, a air, air breather and stuff like that. Well, that was actually the water gimmick that was on the back side of him. And it fit in through here and plugged in right there. <clears throat> His name is Drench. Yes, I know that's a weird name, but hey, compared to what they did, they actually got each other wet. But this Decepticon's name was Drench. Drench transforms into a Mazda 787B Le Mans style race car. He puts flow and knowledge to work in the laboratory. Staying up far past his recharging time. To his army buddies, however, Drench is just a young bot who thrives on excitement. The value for them is that he's ironclad courage in a firefight. And that's a little bit of the bio for Drench. So we're going to get on with 
drench his transformation kind of looks like a I don't know when I look at him I kind of think of a zebra and I don't know why it kind of looks like a zebra so this is drench here what he was a different color but now over time is faded and changed but anyway we're going to get on to transforming him and what you're going to do is take those pull them out away from his ports right here the pegs and ports then you're going to take the back half and these will become his feet you just flip them out down and around then we're going to take his top we're going to fold it down some because these arms need to go out on both of them like so then you push that down now to get his arms out you gotta be careful because this is an older figure and what you need to do is square that up right there but this hinge right here is starting to get real weak because of time and age so I have to be careful when I push them around to make sure I don't put so much stress on it snaps okay now this is deluge I'm sorry drench I'm thinking of an, another one I'm thinking of another Decepticon and here we have drench in his robot mode Decepticon robot mode and he still has the light piping going on right there so he's got the light piping thing going on right there and as far as articulation like I said this is G2 so it was early stages of of still getting trying to get more more articulation in them his arms can go up down his legs about 90 but that's also due to transformation so there we have transformers there we have transformers color changing Decepticon Decepticon Autobot and I still don't know why his name's GoBots but it is <clears throat> and then we have Jetstorm and we have I keep on wanting to say his name's Drench the reason why I keep going back to his Deluge is because I know I have Deluge here I just haven't found him yet and if y'all wanted to know he hates getting mixed up and I read in the bios with his I'm not sure if it's brother or something like that but it's he gets confused with deluge because he's drench he don't like it when they confuse them I will be doing another review on deluge here in the next week or two because like I said I still think that I have three more of these running around here somewhere and one of them is deluge who's different but when I get them all together then I'll do a bigger review on them and each one of these represented a number for like a race car like this one here was two and it has a number two where this one here was six and that's where you can find a six up there and then this one here was eight drenches eight I still can't see it 
There it is, 8. So each one of these do have a number. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, this was a color changing gimmick at the time. These all had colors on them compared to today. But we're also going back from 1993 till today. So these looked different back then to what they do today. And like I said, this was a water gimmick to where if you spray water on them, they would basically turn this type of color for battle damage. But they probably had a whole lot of battle damage since 1993 till today. So anyway, that's it. Y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting us. And uh, we will talk to you later. And that is it. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And just want to say thanks again. We'll talk to you later.